Bogey had this wonderful sense of humor. And he looked over at Holden. And he said, that William Holden, take a look at him. He said, you know, if I were as handsome as Bill Holden, I would not have any doubts as to why Bacall married me. <laughs> Wilder rounded out his cast with a polished crew of supporting players, including Walter Hamden as the head of the Larrabee clan, John Williams II as Sabrina's chauffeur father, Francis X. Bushman, Ellen Corby, and as the soon-to-be jilted fiancé of David Larrabee, accomplished character actress Martha Heyer. Martha Heyer and I were buddies. When I first knew her was a brunette, she was under contract to RKO. And then Grace Kelly came out with the blonde. And Martha Heyer, I think because of Grace Kelly, decided to go blonde. Her whole career changed. Content that he had secured his dream cast, Wilder brought in the play's original writer, Samuel Taylor, to collaborate with him on the screenplay. But Taylor found his work with Wilder too taxing. So Wilder teamed up with screenwriter Ernest Lehman. Linus, will you do me a favor? Anytime. I know how these things bore you, but would you mind keeping an eye on Sabrina for me? Well, I've already thought of that. As a matter of fact, I'm taking a sailing this afternoon. Sailing? Uh-huh. In your boat. Honest? Huh? Oh, Sabrina. Production took place over the course of seven weeks in October and November of 1953, with a budget of slightly more than $2 million, using the Long Island mansion of Paramount's then-president Barney Balaban and the sumptuous swimming pool of CBS founder Bill Paley for location work in New York. Once those exterior scenes were completed, the cast and crew moved to the Paramount lot in Hollywood. As a child, I used to watch you from the window over the garage, coming and going, always wearing your black Homburg and carrying a briefcase and an umbrella. I thought you could never belong to anyone. Getting the script together was a monumental task for Wilder and Lehman. Filming had already begun, and yet the script was still being written. Billy Wilder, as much as anybody I know, said, I don't write, I rewrite. Often, as shots were being set up, Wilder and Lehman could be found in their office working on the story. It's been written that one day Wilder had asked Hepburn to feign an illness on the set so he would have enough time to complete writing the scene that was about to be filmed. Audrey told me a funny story when she said I had to, had to play sick the other day and I said, you had to play sick? What was that? She said, well, Billy needed some more time to work on this, on this script. It was shortly after the completion of Sabrina that Hepburn found real romance. Prior to Sabrina's production, Gregory Peck introduced Audrey to his good friend, actor and producer Mel Ferrer. During the filming of Sabrina, Mel offered Audrey the lead in his new stage hit, Ondine, which she accepted. Once the play's run had concluded, and Audrey had won the Tony Award for her role, she and Ferrer married. Hello, I am Audrey Hepburn. Ondine is a very beautiful love story in which Mel Ferrer and I appear together. Mel plays the knight errant, and I play a water sprite. It's a very gay part. Audrey knew that the true arc of her character hinged upon her dazzling transformation from waifish to wonderful. And while famed Paramount costume designer Edith Head created the simple and lovely clothes for Audrey prior to her Paris stay, Hepburn asked a rising young designer named Hubert Givenchy to consider making her post-Paris outfits. Even though the designer was surprised to discover that the Miss Hepburn waiting to see him wasn't Catherine, their collaboration on Sabrina was the beginning of an enduring friendship that crystallized her image as a fashion icon and made her a permanent fixture atop the best dressed list. One of the things I remember about Sabrina and Edith Head was the outfit that Audrey Hepburn wore when she was up in the tree looking down at all of the out of the party scenes. And Edith was very right. She didn't want to make her look glamorous because that was to be later in the picture, but she wanted her to be attractive. I never can remember that garage girl's name. Sabrina. Sabrina. What right has a chauffeur got to call his daughter Sabrina? What would you suggest? Ethel? The premiere of Sabrina was a full tilt Hollywood extravaganza and the subsequent box office success was glorious. You won't be annoyed if I cry at the boat, will you, Sabrina? I'll be disappointed if you don't, Father. And I'd feel so much better if only you'd be angry with me for allowing all this to happen. It wasn't your fault, Father. It was mine. 
Sabrina earned six Oscar nominations, including one for Audrey Hepburn's performance, two for Billy Wilder, one for his screenplay, and one for his direction, plus nominations for art direction, cinematography, and for Edith Head's costumes. Maybe you got smart, Linus. Or maybe you just got lucky, because you're here, and she's out there. Brother, she would have taken you for plenty. I was just helping you make up your mind. You are in love with her. And so our Cinderella story is complete, with a charming waif-like heroine blossoming into a regal young beauty and a cinematic legend that continues to shine.